I always feel super energized when I'm fasting, as do a lot of other people. But did you know that autophagy could actually be one of the reasons why we have so much energy during fasting or when we eat autophagy promoting foods? It has to do with something called mitophagy and it's really fascinating. So if you want more energy, perhaps you need to pay attention to some of the stuff I'll instruct in this video. Go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and then hit that bell icon and then after this video, please check out Thrive Market. If you are new to fasting or if you're new to any kind of like paleo, keto, any kind of new eating style, you've got to check them out because if you go to Thrive Market, they will deliver your groceries right to your doorstep, but you can sort online by what kind of diet you're doing. So if you're doing keto, then you can select foods that are keto friendly, paleo, grain free, gluten free, whatever. So highly, highly recommend them. There's a special link for you to use if you watch my videos. Okay, I've been working with Thrive Market for years now and they're a big supporter. So we extend the savings out to my viewers. So there's a special link down below. So I explained some of this in another video, but I wanted to give context with autophagy and fasting and kind of break that down. Real quick synopsis, okay? When you're fasting, because you are not eating, your body breaks down components that are not needed. So basically, when you are not eating, it highlights how just lame some components are within your cells, within your mitochondria. It's like when your body is functioning with food coming in, there's enough going on that your body's kind of distracted, your cells are kind of distracted, but when you're actually in an energy deprived state and your body is trying to get efficient, it really highlights how messed up some components might be. Here's an example. Okay, let's say you've got a crew on a boat and the crew on a boat is doing a fine job, but then the boat gets a big hole in it and starts springing water. Okay, well, all of a sudden, when the crud hits the fan, it really highlights who's a team player and who's not. Because all of a sudden, some of these employees and some of these workers and these crew that you thought were doing a great job, well, when there's actually stuff to do and you're in a time of need, you realize they're not cutting it. Well, this is what happens in our body because you're in that time of need, you're fasting. So your body's like trying to get efficient and you realize, oh, that's not working. So your body takes the component of whatever is not working and it says, you know what? We're just gonna just use you for energy. Breaks it down and recycles it and uses it somewhere else. But it happens specifically in the mitochondria, which is where we create energy, okay? This is called mitophagy or mitophagy, excuse me. So mitophagy is autophagy that occurs specifically at the mitochondria level. Now, to make things really simple, the mitochondria is where we produce energy. And there's a lot of argument out there that says, well, fasting and intense exercise and things like that improves mitochondrial mass. It gives you more ability to produce energy because it makes your mitochondria more efficient. Well, how does it make your mitochondria more efficient? Well, just like the ship analogy, your mitochondria is creating energy, okay? But then all of a sudden, things just got serious. You stopped eating and your mitochondria is like, well, we gotta, we gotta make stuff work. Well, all of a sudden it's, it's doing things and one of the workers within the power plant just drops something and uh, messes everything up. And the mitochondria is like, whoa, 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 we're not producing energy right. So the fasting illuminated that that mitochondria had an issue and that issue just got bigger. So the mitochondria have a very unique ability to go through what is called fission. Okay, and what happens is the mitochondria can recognize that a component of itself is weak and it literally moves it to one side of the mitochondria. So the mitochondria being a power plant, it's like a separate room within the power plant just for waste of space things. So the mitochondria says, uh, uh, no, 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 you're messing things up, you go over there. And then eventually everything that's in that room gets shipped away and goes through mitophagy. So now you're left with a cleaner, more efficient, albeit smaller mitochondria. But all the weak, decrepit components that were illuminated by your fasting or by your autophagy and that whole process, they get recycled boom, 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 through mitophagy and are used as either cellular energy or just broken down into the carbon that they are or they're just, just disposed of, gone, right? So that is how autophagy is producing energy. Now this is happening in different components of the cells for different things. It's all about efficiency. So fasting is illuminating how efficient we should be by really highlighting what is inefficient. So that is why while you are fasting, you start to feel so clean and why overall 
you develop more just energy potential through fasting because your mitochondria becomes more efficient. Not to mention other mechanisms that come into play like PGC1A and uh, NRF1, NRF2, but that's a little bit more complicated. We'll save that for another day. Autophagy isn't just about, oh, I wanna have beautiful skin and be fresh and clear and this. No, autophagy is about being ruthlessly efficient so that you can be the ultimate badass that you wanna be and occasionally it takes struggling a little bit to get there. But that struggle illuminates who is a waste of space in your body and you don't have room for that waste of space. So that's exactly how fasting and autophagy can help give you a little bit more energy. It weeds out the weak and leaves you with the efficient. I'll see you tomorrow.